Now let's talk about measuring this to see how big it is. So first of all, what I would want to do is put this at the origin and I'm going to go modify center pivot, push this down. Okay. Now, if I measure it, if I go modify measure tools, or I'm sorry, create measure tools distance tool, I can go from the bottom to the top and I can see that it's 11.4. Well, 11.4 what? Well, if I go into preferences, I can see that it's 11.4 centimeters. If I switch it to inches, I can see that it's 4.5 inches, okay? Now, if this was a toy, that I was going to 3D print, uh, maybe that would be a good size. However, I want to try to make this life size. So I'm going to go to feet. I'm going to put this up here. I can see that would be four feet. I'm, I'm thinking a motorcycle is roughly four feet tall. So the best way to scale this is I want to put my insert pivot point down here. That way it'll scale from the bottom up. Notice I also have the group selected, not everything inside the group, just the group. And now I can scale this up to my marker. And there I can see from here to here is four feet tall. So if I was bringing this into a game engine, um, it would be the same size as my character or anything else that I brought in there. Or if I was working with a team of people, that it would work together. Now, one thing to note that if I do bring it into a game engine, by default, Unreal is set to centimeters. So what it's going to ask is how many units tall is your object? And if I leave this in inches, I can see that it's 48 inches tall. So Unreal would think that it's 48 centimeters. Okay, so as long as I put this back to centimeter, I can see that now it's 122 units tall. So that would be good for Unreal. Once I'm done with that, I can delete this. And just to clean this up, if I select everything, I'm gonna select this. And I wanna select each part. I wanna make sure that each part's selected. Uh, best way to do that is instead of going through here and trying to select everything, even if I do this, it's not really selecting these things in here. The best way to do that is to go to the top node, go down to the Mel command here, and type in select. Select space dash HI. That's select hierarchy. And now I'm gonna to go to edit, delete by type history. I'm gonna to go to modify, freeze transformations. That'll zero everything out. And then I'm going to go to um, modify center pivot. Now each object should have its own pivot centered, even if it was mirrored. And that's it. I have now a life size model with a very clean outliner and the display layer is also cleaned up as well.